Good morning. Here are the headlines you need to know to get your Saturday started. Today, inmates at the Lansing Correctional Facility in Kansas will be moved to a new facility. On Thursday, we learn inmates at the facility are starting to recover from COVID-19. 60 staff have tested positive, but five are now back at work. 50 inmates have tested positive and 17 have recovered. The Overland Park Farmers Market opens today at a new location and with some new changes. It will take place at the Overland Park Convention Center. The market will be drive through style to keep people safe. Customers will get in line, drive to see a vendor and then order. The market was supposed to start more than a week ago, but got delayed due to the stay at home order and social distancing. Vendors will be wearing masks and gloves and they ask customers to do the same. Late last night in the third round of the NFL draft, the Chiefs selected TCU offensive lineman Lucas Neong, who replaced Cam Irving, who was released earlier this offseason. Neong posted on Twitter following the news saying it's a dream come true. The Chiefs also selected linebacker Willie Gay Jr. out of Mississippi State. He has the highest career coverage grade of any player in the draft class and the second fastest 40 yard dash time for a linebacker. Last season, the junior only played in five games due to an NCAA violation involving an academic tutor. It was also reported that Gay and his starting quarterback got into an altercation last year, but Chiefs head coach Andy Reid feels secure in the pick and the linebacker's character. We will have more draft picks throughout the day, so be sure to catch our On the Clock special that airs tonight at 6.15. Those are your Saturday morning headlines. For more, be sure to tune in for 41 Action News at 5.